Hi, Peter Charles here, folks fly fly fishing, and today we're going to tie the Gordon. Now, this is an interesting uh, wet fly pattern, and I think the color scheme will be quite good to imitate a lot of those mayfly mergers that are coming off in uh, late May and early June. So uh, let's get tying and look at the materials. Our hook today is a typical wet fly hook in a size 10. Our thread is white 8 aught. We're going to use a fine gold tinsel. Our tail and our wing is brown mallard. Our body is yellow floss. And our throat is badger. Okay, we're going to start our thread around the hook point. Now we're going to put in our rib. Leave a tag. Now just work this back. And then forward. Move this out of the way. Now we fold this back so we can use it as our rib. Now we're going to tie on our tail. And I'm not going to uh, use a big clump here. I want this relatively sparse. You think of mayfly tails, they're very ephemeral, so you really don't want anything that's super bulky. And now our floss. Now very carefully wind this forward, keeping all your materials on top. Now take a moment to um, smooth out your floss. If you find that uh, you're not having much effect, use some dubbing wax on your fingers. Now I'm just going to come back here with my floss and put one wrap at the back here. Be careful of the hook point. Just over the tail and start to come forward. creates a little bit of a bump, but I, I'm i not taking a really elegant approach with this. This is more of a fishing fly, so we're going to tolerate a couple of bumps here. And now for our rib. Now for our throat. This is a dry fly badger. This would imitate the legs of an emerging insect, so again, we don't want super bulky. Okay, at this stage we're going to color our thread. And now for the wing. Again, I'm looking for that kind of ragged look. This isn't supposed to be a pretty fly. This is supposed to be one that's going to work and catch fish. So I'm looking for that same kind of ragged look I've got in the tail in the wing so it'll flutter in the current. We're out of wet finish. And finally some head cement. Okay, there you have the Gordon. Uh, I've kept the materials relatively sparse because I want it to have that emerger look where everything will flutter. So you can see this has that uh, sort of an open look to the materials as opposed to everything being compacted together and very neat looking but uh, perhaps not as lively. 
uh, the whole idea behind those badger legs is that you want them to be able to move. And being made out of uh, cock hackle, they're going to be stiff, so they will have vibrate. Uh, if I want to critique this fly, uh, the head's a little large. I, I brought the body a little bit too close to the eye. So if you're doing this, keep a little bit more space than I did. Other than that, I think this is a, a very fishable fly. Something else you might want to consider is tying this on a longer shank hook. I think it actually might look better. I don't think it'll fish better, but it will certainly look a bit better if you use a longer shank hook. So all right, give it a try. The Gordon.